Hi guys, <laughs> this part two of the previous video. After I got problems completing surveys on using Bit Browser, I tried to try uh, changing my 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 anti -tech browser to Bit Browser to whatever to multi login to see whether there will be a difference. You can see that uh, this is the profile j 4 u proxy bot testing. You can see I'm using Sox5 this one. And the same details here ip port user and password they are the same here also we check them whether they are online you see they are online so just click update so we open this one here i've transferred from bit browser to motilogging to see whether we have some luck in completing more surveys my bit browser was, I don't know why, it was a bit slow for me, but my I, my favorite is, I like using multiple anti tech browsers to achieve my objective. Eh? I did not say that bit browser is bad, but I just wanted to try my rack on multi-login. So let me open up my profile from... profile now this one hmm. so let's check mail on this account Uh, for bit browser i like using them for the uh for the uh crowdfund profile option but the browser sometimes so many people are using it eh? and i'm having a, i'm having a free version so i think for bit browser if you want to have uh to utilize their full capacity make sure you subscribe to the premium browser options they'll give you various exclusive features but for the free profile Everybody is using them. They are so much crowded. Eh? You might be sharing a uh, there's probability of you sharing uh, a fingerprint with another person using the same site. Eh? But their crowd profile is perfect. So I like using Bit Browser for their crowd profile. But for surveys, uh, normal browser profile I like using Motilogin. But each person has his own favorites. That's how I work, and I'm sure other people might be having their own setups. Eh? So that's mine. So let me close this bit browser yeah let me now let us work on multi login and see whether we can hit the cash out so let's go to surveys this bit browser so let's try to do this one so just keep quiet now and try to complete surveys
Now let's try to verify using a phone number. Let's see whether we are going to be given 14 days of hold. So let me get the number. So here is the number. Here is one. This number. So copy the number here. Then go to Prime Opinion. As you, I was using the, the old Drain Crowd number, but now I switched out to the new version of Drain Crowd. So that it will work. So let's see. the code is here let's see whether we are going to be given 14 weeks of hold right. So, as usual, when you verify with a number, uh, they give you 24 hours of review. So, I'm going to check this account later on. After 24 hours, and see whether I'll be given uh, a 14 days hold. Then, if, if I'm not, I think I'll not do another video. I'll just post the update on my Telegram channel. So, guys, I did all this video to confirm that... Uh, J4U proxies are working well and can be able to work uh, on Prime Opinion using J4U proxies. Eh? You can be able to create an account and complete surveys using those particular IPs. I've seen I've completed like uh, three, like two surveys before I was prompted to do a review or to do a number verification. So, guys, be sure to check out J4U proxies and give me the feedback under the video comment section. Thank you.